I see. Okay. Yes. Hmm. Yes. Mm -hmm. And have you considered that this might just be paranoia as a manifestation of your PTSD? Well, you underwent something extremely traumatic. It's understandable in your circumstance to be on your guard. But sometimes that concern can become a bit expansive, problematic. You feel unsafe in your own home. That must be incredibly stressful. You did contact the police about the messages you received earlier. Did they make any headway? Hmm. That's unfortunate. How are you dealing with that? Hmm. I see. And you think that she's, that your house is being watched or broken into, am I? You do have a security system in place. You've mentioned cameras. Have you checked the footage? Seen anything unusual? No. It's all clear, no strange visitors in the night. Hmm. No, I don't think you're crazy. <laughs> Far from it. You're just traumatized and trying to deal with that trauma as best you can. Being in that kind of semi fight or flight state 24 7 it's a great deal of stress on your system and whether or not your house is being targeted which remains to be seen you're going to feel a lot of paranoia and all of that is normal but normal doesn't necessarily mean healthy so the goal is to find a more productive way to deal with your current situation and ideally, learn to relax, at least a bit, while you let the police handle things. You've taken some great steps when it comes to your security. Does that offer a sense of relief to you? system. And you have a dog, correct? Oh. So not an attack dog, then. <laughs> have you considered getting a large animal, maybe? A German Shepherd, something like that? Ah, I see. Well, not all dogs do well with other animals. Hmm. It seems our time's up. So, your assignment for this week, if you can manage, is to focus on you. Take some time to do what makes you happy. And then see if you can get your mind off of these outside stresses. Go for a walk. Take a swim. Self-care. Do something that's purely for you. Life doesn't have to stop because of her. Don't give her that victory. You can't let her win. God, it is such a pretty day. I'm really glad you called. Uh, oh yeah, I love hiking. Okay, not really. <laughs> But I like you. 
and I don't mind getting sweaty if it means another date. <laughs> Stop. I'll be honest, though. I'm not used to this day-date thing. But you know, I think I kind of like it. Hey, maybe next time we can go to a diner, you know? Do a breakfast date thing. Coffee, pancakes. Oh, hey, what's wrong? Shit. I'm sorry, I didn't say anything, like, triggering, did I? Is that still the term to use? Triggering? I feel like everyone thinks SJW nowadays, but it's a real thing, you know? Oh, fuck. I'm sorry. No, I know I didn't know, but still, that sucks. But you're okay? Like, other than me opening my big fat mouth? <laughs> Yeah, I know. It's been tough. I didn't know you before this, you know, but I can see that you're an awesome person. Even after everything you've been through, you haven't let it destroy you. That's pretty brave, I think. I don't know what I would do if I went through all that. Probably be crazy at this point. No? You don't think so? <laughs> well, I guess you would know a lot about crazy. Oh, th that wasn't... <laughs> okay. <laughs> Good. <laughs> Sorry. Dark humor. Bad habit. So... Are you an outdoorsy kind of guy? I just need to know how quickly I should be dumping you. <laughs> Not that we're dating, but, you know. Oh, okay. Yeah, it is nice to try new things. And it's pretty secluded out here, you know? I mean, other than the few weird people that enjoy outdoor activity... So strange. <laughs> Be honest. Is that part of why you wanted to come here? To get away from... From it all? Hmm. Yeah, that's what I thought. It's okay. I don't mind. Seclusion can be fun. If you're secluded with the right person. Mm, my stomach kind of hates me, though. I guess coffee isn't a filling breakfast after all. <laughs> Do you mind if I grab some of that trail mix out of your bag? Great. Thanks. <laughs> no. This is not count as you buying me lunch. Asshole. Hmm. Ah, here we go. Don't worry, I won't just pick out all the M&Ms. I like the crappy nuts and raisins, too. <laughs> I'm not that selfish. Well, thank you for sharing. I really appreciate it. Oh, no. I just want a handful. I'll put it back. Huh. Oh, well, that's... interesting. You plan on doing some rock climbing? No, I just... I mean, I don't really know rope or anything, but this seems like some heavy-duty stuff. Are you okay? You look really pale. 
No, I just found it in there. Why would I be joking? <laughs> what do you mean you don't know how it got there? You probably just forgot it was in there from earlier. You packed it this morning, and you're sure you didn't put it in? Maybe it was, I don't know, stuck to something else, or... I know that's dumb. I'm just trying to help. I'm sorry. Are you all right? Oh, you want to head back already? Come on. You've only been here for 30 minutes. We're having fun. Don't let this stupid thing ruin the day, please. Besides, no one else is out here. Isn't that safer than being in town? <sighs> no, you're right. I'm sorry for pushing you. If you're not comfortable, we'll go. We can just, like, brain check it, okay? <laughs> Try it another day. No backpacks this time, huh? <laughs> Come here. Give me a hug. Hmm. Okay. Look at me. I promise, as long as I'm here, nothing is going to happen to you, okay? <laughs> okay. Good. Now come on. Let's get out of here. <laughs>